Okay, we are doing opal nails on my client. I'm like really tired and like a little cranky for no reason today. So I'm not, I don't really have a pep in my step with these voiceovers. So I'm just gonna put that out there right now. <laughs> so just so you know, that's what's happening. Um, we are doing opal nails on this client based on her ring. And if the steps don't seem too linear, it's because I literally was making this up as I went. Like I didn't really have a plan. I just kind of went for it and fingers crossed that it would turn out okay. Spoiler alert, it did, but man, I was, I was sitting at the edge of my seat this one. So first things first, what I did was I mixed dark wash denim and pool float to make a little sheer dark-ish blue. And I did one layer and cured it. Then I realized, no, I want a wet layer of that to smoosh more colors in. So after I cured the first layer of that, I did a wet layer of it, didn't cure it, and then brought out my neon green, brought out my white, brought out my like moody pink on the palette, and decided to smoosh it around in there to start building up that glow, that opaly glow, because you need a neon green. Then halfway through the first couple nails, I realized I should use frosted, which is that like glowy white color. Um, while I mix it. So you can see that it's kind of, it's on my palette already, but I stopped, I didn't use it yet. And so what I decided to do was smoosh that in to make that the wet layer as well, because it's glowy. And again, we're, all we're trying to do is just build the glow of the opal. Look, you can kind of see I'm grabbing that milky white. It's called frosted. It's not milky white. It's like the pearlescent glowy white. And I'm blobbing some of that pink in there and neon green while it's all wet and just building up the glow. All right, so yeah, that's just me building the foundation of the design. So you can kind of watch me do it. And the colors I am using for this are again, dark wash denim, pool float, uh, frosted, daybreak, bluey white, and neon toy green. All of those will be listed down below. Daybreak and frosted are a part of the volume three collection that's coming December 5th. So another sneak, another sneak peek, kinda. I mean, I'm not like highlighting it, you know what I mean? Okay, so I cured it, I think. No, I didn't. See, like, I don't even know how you're following along because even I'm like, where am I? I did not cure it. I, it's still not cured. All those smooshies are not cured because I wanted super thin lines of white in that wet layer because pro tip is when you put lines inside of a wet layer of gel, they're so thin. They are so thin. It turns out way thinner than if you did it on top of cured gel. So I knew I wanted really fine, fine lines. All right, now I'm gonna let you watch me do that process again, but more confidently. <laughs> like by the sec, by hand number two, I was like, oh, okay, I got this. So let me, let me just let you watch this again. I finally actually cured that first layer and I realized I wanted a little bit more of the glow and the neon green so I put both on my brush and kind of just went around and added it where I wanted I knew I wanted a little bit more of a border around the nail so in the next couple nails you'll notice I'm a little bit more heavy-handed with the green around the edges like it didn't have to be perfect it was just a little bit more green around the edges to make it look more in depth.
And once that was all done, I didn't cure it and left that wet layer so I can put some glowy thin flakies in the middle to just add to the glow, obviously. And then once all of that was done and I cured it, I did a little gold outline because I could not resist. And that was it. And now for some tortoiseshell nails. I'm not gonna go too into detail because I have a few tutorials out there, but all I'm using is my tortoiseshell gel design kit, which comes with all the colors, all the tools, and by all the tools, all I mean is my smoosh brush here. And all I'm doing is just using all the colors in the kit and just layering them sort of on top of, top of each other in like lava lampy shaped blobs. I'm curing in between the layers um, again, I'm just going to link the tutorial, the full tutorial down below so I don't have to like bore you if you've already heard this. So feel free to just vibe out and watch me finish this tortoiseshell set. Let me find some uh, jazzy music for you. And then finally, my last client of the day, but I want to talk about cantaloupe base. That's the main thing I want to talk about here because cantaloupe base, I'm just going to say it, is so underrated. Like even I forget about her and that is so rude of me because look how beautiful it is. I don't know, man. There's just something about it. I mean, also it looks so good on this like specific length and shape. It's just so satisfyingly just crisp. I just love it. Okay, ready for the reveal? Boom, look at that. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Like, that's ridiculous. It's a little bit more like orangey tinted than peach and it's beautiful. End of discussion. So for her design, we're using two new colors that we already used earlier in the day. We, you're, we're using Daybreak and Frosted again. Surprise, surprise. And my application brush. Surprise, surprise. I just couldn't stay away. But all we're doing is an ombre fade from the tip of the nail and using my application brush to blend it upward. And it doesn't need to be like a perfect fade um, because we're gonna put a layer, a very thin, thin layer of Frosted over it to make it like a glowy, subtle fade. Can you tell this day I was very into glowy things? I was very into frosted today. So yeah, all I did was just continue to swipe the top of the color line just to blur it upwards with my application brush. And then I cured it and did another layer of that on top of it to make the pink a little bit more opaque because I knew we were gonna cover it in, yep, you guessed it, frosted but just a thin, thin coat because Frosted can be opaque if she wants to, but um, I didn't want her to be fully opaque because I wanted that pink to shine through. I didn't want to just like cover up the ombre. I wanted it still to be there. So that's what I'm doing and you'll see the reveal of the final product in like a few seconds. Mm -hmm. 